Hello and welcome to episode 4 of our Sinus Hill campaign. In the last episode, we united our home state and also moved and took Hatter's Green off of our rivals, Estalin. Uh, it was a battle of the War Wizards, as they have a uh, wizard leader, as do we. But it seems that their war leader has died. Which is particularly exciting, because that means that now I have the ability to um, abdicate here, or not abdicate. But I have the ability of when he dies, it doesn't matter as much because we could still win this war. Uh, and that also means that their fort here could also deteriorate, the Magical Fortress, which means that that level 4 fort will become a level 3, which is pretty nice. Now, today, um, we need to get our prestige up and we need to get our legitimacy up. Because for the next round of our missions here, uh, that's what I need. 60 prestige and 100 legitimacy. And I think the best way to do that is going to be through humiliating people, like our rival right here at the Marin. Uh, unfortunately, they are allied to quite a few people, including Arboran, who is not a pushover, though they are weaker than usual. They have as many troops as we do. And I think that's going to be what we're going to do. Um, now, I was tempted to try and put my uh, personal union through the mission tree here onto Istralor. But they're just allied to Moonhaven, Celiande, and Galen, and Magdalene. So they have a pretty strong alliance chain. And not all of my allies are willing to join at the moment. Um, so that makes me a little nervous about declaring that war. We need to build up a little bit more, I think. A little bit more. Uh, and obviously we want to expand into where we have claims. So like up here into Benin would be nice. Uh, back into Estalm when our truce is up in 1480. That's actually next year. I did not realize that. I like to Exus and Corvuria. Uh, Corvuria wouldn't even join, and I have a claim on Tendergrove. Okay, actually, maybe I wait the year then. I was going to go to war with Thamaria, but I didn't realize that uh, we were so close to being able to go to war with uh, Estal, what's our aggressive expansion looking like? It's okay, actually. Interesting. Okay, well then, I guess we'll wait. Always gotta double check your truces. Uh, yeah, the Marin is our rival, so it doesn't matter if they hate us. We have renewed a loan. Yes, we are going to be, uh, uh, in the negative now, as we did just build a cannon up. We have Moonhaver Separatist. That means this must be Elven. Yes, this is Moon Elven culture, which uh, is not an accepted culture as of yet. Interesting. I didn't realize that there was an Elven province there. That is fine. Uh, Emperor has enacted a reform. Good for them, I suppose. What month in the first? Right? So that I just said? Yes. We need to be ready. Be the succession of a necklace. Okay. Merchant guilds refuse to pay adventurers. Uh, we're going to boost that merchant guild loyalty on up and... Oh, we can't take this back yet. Uh, they were very disloyal because we gave this and took it back a whole bunch of times. But they were very, very upset about that. I, unfortunately, was not in position to instantly declare a war, but that's okay. We are going to go ahead and do this uh, completely on our own. How is that not a stack wipe? Excuse me? Are you nuts? Like, okay, I guess. But also, are you nuts? Like, do you see the power of our army here? Come back here. Get him. Dang. They're on the first at Varys' Accord. Now I have to spend points to boost it. Okay, there we go. That was Sack White. Now we are also at war with uh, Exus over here, but they are currently indisposed. Go ahead and shift consolidate. That way I can send 1,000 troops over onto uh, Ummins for. The rest can. Really? How many troops do I need here? 12. Well, that's unfortunate. Guess we have to put all our troops here to siege down this uh, level 4 fort. Uh, I don't know the meantime to happen for the event that makes the Magical Fortress go away. So I'd rather just 
hit him now while we can. Now, please don't die on this siege. I should have thought about that. Uh, you know what? Let's cast some siege magic. Why not? I don't think I've done it. Never mind. We don't have any spells to do. <laughs> uh, psych. We are not going to be doing that. Uh, we can't take Diplotech. Let's go ahead and do that. Though maybe it would have been worth more to develop at this point. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's mothball our capital fort. Uh, Estalin, or uh, Exwis is not going to be able to get access over, so don't have to worry about them. In fact, maybe we even uh, mothball this at some point. Then we just loot everything. Take it? Dang. That's right. I mean, we're looting stuff right now. This has a lot of valuable uh, ducats that we can take. We actually sacked it as well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a loan. Is there anyone that I can, that I have favors with? You I have favors with. You don't have enough money. Neither do you. Neither do you. I love the AI. The AI is very helpful. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate you being able to help me out here. Uh, we shouldn't take a loan. With our income? Oh, no, that's including looting. Ah, let's just burn some tax development. The least amount. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take care of these rebels. And that is the... Oh, okay. Well, you know what? He lived just as long as he needed to. Uh, to everlasting friendship. That's okay. We don't care about converting. New Deity Time. Now, we are very, very far behind on Admin Tech, so I think we have to go with uh, Estelos, you know, while we can. <laughs> probably, uh, probably a good idea. Let's make sure we are at least zero stability. Thank you very much. New Decisions. We can make the Duke of War Wizard. No way. Let's go! Oh my goodness. A 645 powerful mage. Oh, we're not going to make him into a war wizard because I don't want him to die. That would be terrible. But what we are going to do is, once we uh, get some months behind us, we are going to absolutely be studying magic as these guys. Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and mothball our fort. Uh, just keep an eye on that access, but I don't think they're going to get it. Now, I think I, I want Estolan province because it is a center of trade. I would like to take... Uh, Tender Grove as well. That way I can declare on Leslampar. Unfortunately, did join the Dames Crown Trade League. But I think it'd be still worth it because that is another center of trade. And we really, really need to get some more control in this area. If I were to take that, uh, Leslampar, Esmeraine. Okay. We can live with that. Where is Esmeraine? Esmeraine. Okay, let's go ahead and improve some relations with them, just to make sure they don't join. And who else should we improve with? Tur. Tur and Benin. Um, Tur is currently guaranteed by Silver Fortune, allied to Wex, so let's improve with them. They're definitely more of a priority. And now we're just going to lower the troop maintenance to probably about half, and we're just going to loot everything. Or maybe we shouldn't, because we have rebels that are about to pop up. So let's uh, let's get that maintenance back up high. Three more army professionalism. What are we at? We're currently at eight army professionalism. Not bad for not drilling at all. Oh, where are those rebels going to pop up? Right here? Look at that. Big brain. Uh, I don't want to lose any of this. Both of these are bad. Yes and yes. Um... I guess we go with the lowest losses. Now we just loot. No, let's not loot the province we're going to take. We can also mothball that. Now we just chill. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, let's see. No one here that's particularly interesting for a uh, personal union. That is looted into the ground. Make sure we drop our maintenance here. So there's no reason to have it up. They shouldn't have any unrest. This is all uh, their culture, I believe. Yeah, it's Mari. They're the uh, primary culture, primary nation of this culture. So, they'd have to take a lot of hits to feel that unrest. 
All right, we have unlocked our first idea group. Now, what do we go with? Do we need any idea groups for our mission tree? Uh, that's more prestige. Five, win five wars with your bardic allies. That's not going to be easy. Um, not that I can see immediately. So let's go ahead and... Well, first let's purchase an ability. Um, manpower recovery speed? Or claims on claims. Manpower is actually doing all right, but let's get that uh, recovery speed plus thirty-five percent. My God, that is quite the uh, bonus there. Uh, right, idea group. Looking at our points here, it can't be an admin group, but it could be you know, either military or diplo. And I'm tempted to take diplomatic ideas. One that reduces or uh, it increases the speed at which our aggressive expansion is going to decay. And two, I think it also makes sense with the nation, right? But like a bardic nation, so like diplomatic stuff is kind of what I'm feeling like we should do. This isn't like a great first pick, but I think it will be worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and lock that in there. Making plenty of monarch points. In fact, we could probably afford to focus once we catch up on admin tech. For now, we are just going to continue to loot everything as we need the money and taking it from other people is the best way to get money. Yes, let's also repay all of our loans here. Oh, the, wow, we couldn't even repay all of them. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's check this peace deal. I mean, if I can take more, I will simply take more. But I don't know if we can get away with that. Mm, obviously, we can't get away with that. It would be possible. Yeah, we could take this. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, I would need to improve with Silvalar and Istralor. So let's do that. Uh, I know Istralor, you are right here. And Silvalar is somewhere around here, somewhere. Uh, where are you guys? Silver? No, that's Magdalar. Oh, fine, I'll just look at Silvalar. There you are. Ooh, they have gold. They're gone for claims on claims. Actually, I think they're a free city. Yeah, so I couldn't have started them anyways. Uh, base tax, silver forge opinion. Well, that's probably going to take a while, but we will attempt that. One more tax. An advisor has unfortunately passed away. We'll take that diplomat and start to improve with silver forge. All right, uh, advisors. Yeah, I definitely want a diplo advisor. Let's go for diplo rep, and then. We'll hold off on the mill advisor for now. Okay, this province is definitely looted. Uh, that one's being refilled, but we'll go. We'll loot it. We'll move over. We'll loot Tender Grove, and then we will call it a war. No rush to get out of this. Just kidding. We do have somewhat of a rush now. <laughs> National Bank, yes, repay that. Look at that. This war has paid off our loans. Uh, let's go for yearly prestige. Thank you. Uh, now, in this peace deal, we need to think about more than just simply the land, though. I need to make sure that I take a decent amount of prestige from this, because I need to get up to 60. Which I don't know is possible from this one war. Uh, let's hire another general, since we have the ability to. Let's hop on over. And we are going to study magic. Now, we are legendary abjuration. Legendary abjuration. That is fantastic. Because now, we can cast Magical Field. So, each of these... Uh, the diffusion of Magical Fields can be cast and controlled in different ways. Localized variants require only eyesight of the caster, while larger versions tap into carefully placed runes in magic circles. But the way the most renowned mages do it is by simply tapping into their mind and causing the spell's effect to take hold through memory and remembered places, distributing whatever magical effect they wish on the inhabitants of that location. 
This spell affects the amount of provinces you have that have a land connection to your capital. Being cast the Field of Freedom, which gives friendly movement speed and supply limit. The Field of Forbiddance, which is plus five attrition for enemies. Wow. Did you imagine getting this with the Kobolds early game? Oh my god. I mean, I think it's capped at, at five, right? Attrition, but that's insane. That's so much. And hostile movement speed minus 75%. And then the Field of Fortification, which is local defensiveness. Now, this is not what I thought it was. I thought that this was the ability to create a fortress. But we'll go ahead and cast that uh, Field of Fortification. And then we're going to study magic. Now, I would like to get... Oh, we're talented in necromancy. Uh, I would like to study transmutation, as that is my favorite one to do. Uh, specifically to get up to enhance ability. Now, we can spend more effort or we can spend more money. I'm going to go ahead and spend more effort and pay the honor points. Now, there are some negatives that come from studying magic. We have minus one diplo rep, minus 0.5 yearly legitimacy, Minus 50% chance of air and minus one diplo relations. That makes me instantly regret clicking that button because I need the, uh, <laughs> I need the legitimacy. But we can get there. All right, let's pull back from both of you. We should be good to peace out. Now that is only 49% war score. Right now we are getting 11 prestige out of it. We need some more. Now a humiliate would give us, let's see, what does that give us? That gives us power projection, which is very, very valuable. But it's not going to get us the prestige we need. Now, are these guys loyal? They are. Let's take that away then, and let's give it back to ourselves. That gets up to 51, which will put us over the 60 necessary for the uh, for the event. So we'll also take seven whole Decaturunis. Thank you. Coalition will not fire. The re provinces. Nice. All right, we can go ahead and core all those up. Ooh, very expensive as uh, Estalin is in a state and 30 development. Let's get that fort turned back on to start dealing with the devastation that is in the area. Not sure who caused that devastation. Couldn't have been us. That'd be crazy. Uh, we are going to need to go ahead and strengthen government one time. And now we can complete a swelling serenade. It is not enough to shine, we must outshine. The true musician's path is never complete until all eyes are on them. This brilliance will shine far beyond our walls. We lose 30 prestige and 30 legitimacy, but we gain 200 diplo power. And we now have access to more missions. We need to rebuild the song barges, where every province must have at least 15 development. And then a paper will be replaced in Nosebridge instead of the grain. Now we need 100 legitimacy and 80 prestige. And I need to win five wars with my bardic allies. I don't remember who my bardic, bardic allies are. I know that this is my scald ally. But I don't know if they count as a bardic ally. Uh, Yeah. Now that I'm looking at them, we also need to improve relations. 83 is not good. That is uh, interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, Estalin is no longer a valid rival. That puts our power projection up to 89. We can get a new rival. And now I want to pick this rival carefully. Do I go for someone that can help me get an alliance? Or do I go for someone that I can easily humiliate? Such as... Well, Gibbard is a free city, so that's not an option. Silverforge? We could go after Silverforge. Uh, they're allied to Ibavar. That's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> Moonhaven is possible. Conwell? Conwell seems to be a good option, depending on alliances. Burn, Naves Bay, Leslin Park, Gamorion. Actually, yes. We're going to go for Conwell. Nope. No, 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 no. Not our ally. Conwell. That way, when we attack Leslin Park, who is allied to Conwell, we can humiliate them in a seven piece deal. All right, magical progress. So when you study magic in the mod, you will get uh, progress through random events. And sometimes you can do things to influence if you get the progress or not. You can pay monarch points, money, 
uh, you can send people on like adventures to get you something. But this time we happen to get 200 magical experience. My heir falls ill, pray for his life. That's unfortunate. Uh, if we die, we become a personal union under wax. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, we are going to go ahead and hire this discipline advisor now. And there was something I was going to do. Yes, I was going to keep explaining about the uh, magic studies. You can check right here how much it's done. So right now we have 200 of 1,000. And once we hit that 1,000 mark, then we will get to the next level of whatever we're currently studying, which is uh, transmutation. If you click this, it'll cancel it. So don't, don't click that. <laughs> don't click that. There's no reason to cancel it unless the negatives from it are really, really hurting you. All right, merchants are harassed. I get a Diplo insult, Casas Belly. Well, I don't care if Leslie Par likes me, so sure. Uh, let's see, aggressive expansion YCS. How are my allies feeling about me? You could use a topping off of uh, relations. You, how are you doing? Delvar Dynasty, 5837. Possible we get a PU over them. That'd be nice. Uh, half elven minority grows. That is fine. Leslem Par declared war upon Estal and reconquest. Interesting. We want them to win this war. We absolutely want them to win this war because then they'll leave the trade league. They can't stay in. Uh, yeah, we'll take that early. I think that's worth it. Get a little bit of innovativeness. Uh, it seems that our spell has gone up. We have even more grain now. Good more grain. 1631.8. So I need to encourage development in this province right here. Uh, we will get another Diplo relation. That helps offset our problems from studying magic, which is good long term. Uh, yeah, we're going to just, over time, we're going to have to fix that up. No, that's all right. Okay, Sagamber. So Your ruler has died. You are 19. Is it is this alliance really worth it? Is it worth the Diplo slot? Who else could I ally that might be, I don't know, stronger? Uh, Arninen, definitely stronger. <laughs> Laurent. Well, I'm good this game, Laurent. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. Ooh. That'd be one heck of a PU. One heck of a PU. Uh, Arnon, are you rival to Wex by chance? You are not. You only have 4,000 troops. You may be big, but you're not all that strong. Uh, Silverforge could actually be a decent ally to pick up. 12,000 troops. Keeps them out of coalitions. I can use them against Benin. I know they want Old Passage. Uh, yeah, they have a core on Old Passage. Let's uh, let's ally Silverforge. And then we're going to break our alliance down here with Stagamber. Sorry. You're just, uh, you're not worth it anymore. I'm gonna have to somehow get into wars with, uh, with Bjarnric on our side. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Um, but uh, apparently there must be some way, otherwise they wouldn't give it to us, right? Uh, we need to fire a leader. Let's fire that one. Yeah, the worst. How are we doing on Devastation? Oh my goodness. There's still a lot. I mean, it was almost 100, 100 devastation, so I guess that makes sense. Everywhere else is doing all right. Tear. Okay, so Leslin Parr is now out of the trade league. Beautiful. Means we can kind of declare on them. Wait, are they still our rival? They are. Let's raise our troop maintenance. Let's go to war. Um, not to take anything at the moment, but we can humiliate them. We can get, and we can humiliate Conwell. We can force Conwell to break their alliance with Vern, meaning that we can go into there and take a, a bit of a coastline a little bit easier. And it also prevents us from getting viewed. And oh, it'll give us prestige. Ancient tomb located. So, like this is one of the events where you have to pay something. You can either pay Monarch points or you can pay money. And I am going to go ahead and pay money. No, I'm going to pay the points, actually. We are running a deficit here. 
All right, let's go ahead and humiliate Leslampar. We can call him the Magisterium. Do I want to, though? All right, do I need to, though? That's the question. Do I need? I think the answer is no, I don't. Let's, uh, yeah, I can't call him Bjarnric. It's of distant wars. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to uh, do that. Get those relations up. Hopefully we can backwipe here. This is wood, so probably not. All right, Benin has been brought into this war. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Do I feel confident going against them? Yeah, they have a 1-2-1. One, one. They are tech 7, so are we. Um, we'll get less prestige, but yeah, let's call in, call in the Magisterium. Yeah, let's ship consolidate. Let's go engage here. It is farmlands. We are going to start out lower on morale, but if we can get some decent rolls here. There we go. Uh, Order Aldressia has accepted an offer from Vern to rent out troops. I don't know why Vern hates me so much, but they do. I don't know if they hate me, but they, they hate that I'm at war with their friend. Um... Which, that part's fair. What's... Eh. Have fun. What's not cool is that I still have to frickin' deal with them. Yes, the Magisterium has a War Wizard. That was exactly, exactly what I was hoping for. Alright, the Magisterium, of course, has an increased chance since they are the Magic Boys. But, uh, you never know. Do they have a cannon? They do not. Let's sit here and loot these provinces. Yes, they're gonna be taking stuff over here. That's fine. Uh, the Magisterium should... Actually, that's not very good fort defense. I expected them to cast the spell. Spell. Yes, that was also what I was going to do. I was going to go to the Magisters, cast spells. <clears throat> Sorry. And encourage plant growth. Yes. That brings our income from 13.84 up to... Month tick? Month tick? 14.11. So not bad. Uh, let's move in just to make sure they don't try and... Get this. Yep, you have fun sitting on that. Go ahead and uh, put on a defensive edict, and let's change this back over. Do one couple more development points, and then we'll change this back over to protecting trade. That way, we make some more money. Uh, we are, of course, looting Conwell. There we go. Perfect. Now, pretty sure. Okay, they're gonna go contest that. Can I get the Magisterium to? Going up with me. No, they are running away. Where are you going? Are you really going? Oh, they're going to uh, take out Vern. That makes sense. Right here we have Benin and Leslampar. Benin is a level 3 fort. I don't think we win this. No, we definitely don't win that. We'll need our ally for it. Um, How do I want to go about this? How many defenders do I have? I have 3,000. That gets me up to 14,000. We have the better general. Let him sit there. I think we can siege race him. Dangerous thing to do with the AI, I know. How much defensiveness? One defensiveness and 22. So let's go after Benin. Get the allies out. Their siege ticks are going to be incredibly slow. Uh, with 180 defensiveness, because that magical fortress is still in the spot. Never mind. Plans change. Plans change. With the rebels popping up, that makes them very, very weak. And we will go ahead and sally out our forces. We have maxed out our relations with the gambler, though that doesn't really matter as much anymore. Okay, are you going to stop here? No, you are retreating to Horda uh, uh, Aldressia's land. Fine. Magisterium doing work down in the south. Arboran wishes for access. That's fine. Uh, we just wipe those troops. Cool. Oh, they re they retreated up around Ibavar and back down. Give us lots of war score and free uh, siege checks. Great party of 1489 is now in play. See yeah, how this goes. Conwell wants out of the war. I suppose that's fair for peace here. Uh, obviously I want war reps, humiliate, and break your alliance with Vern. Now, I could take money. 105, I'll get 39 of this amount. That's stupid. The Magisterium definitely has not done that much more than me, but okay. 
Um, let's force you to end your rivalry and break your alliance with you. That will give us 3.2 prestige because the Magisterium has done oh so much in this war. Uh, but that's fine. That does give us the power projection, which are, we are now at 100 power projection. Very, very nice to have. Magisterium is back up top here. You are not willing to peace out, though you will relatively soon. A terrific crash. We lose 30 admin. That's like the worst thing we could lose right now. Okay, they're moving troops back in here. An interesting decision on their part. Oh yeah, I'm so... Oh, they have 3,000 cannons now. I am glad we called them in. Just for the war reps alone, this will be worth it. A general has been found dead. Please don't be the good one. Oh. Oh, Ashen Skies. Our general is dead. That is very upsetting. He was a very good, very good leader. Plus one Diplo rep. That's nice. But I should have had this general on here anyways to siege things down. A decline of adventure influence. Come on. I want to break Benin's uh, strong alliances, or at least with Arboran. There we go. Okay. Benin, super peace. I want you to break your alliance with Arboran. I want you to give me war reps. And end your rivalry with Gibbard. And with Esmeraine. And give up your claims in Ibovar. Nope, they won't do that. Okay. Give me whatever money you will then. Uh, that gives us five prestige. Not as much as I was hoping for. Not gonna lie. Magisterium is definitely stealing a lot of that. That's okay. Uh, let's bring these troops back. Let's go up to speed five. I know it is a little bit over the usual 30 minute mark here, but I think we can finish off this war relatively quickly if the Magisterium can uh, get that siege. Another general found dead. I'm sus now. I don't think it was an accident. Okay, perfect. That is the war done and dusted. Order Aldresia, same thing. War reps, uh, end your rivalries, and peace out. Beautiful. And finally, Leslin Parr. Uh, I want you to give up your four, that's on me. Like war reps, I want to humiliate, and I would like you to end your rivalry with uh, them in your alliance with Orda Aldresia and give whatever ducats you will. You know, day for a peace deal. Perfect. All right. That gets us up to 60 prestige. Not quite enough for uh, what we need, though. We look here. Patriarch's Arch will only give us... That was not as much as I thought it was. I thought we were going to get a little bit closer. But we are currently 10 prestige off. Uh, right here. If there's like a development one that usually gives prestige. Ugh, unfortunate. That's really unlucky. Okay, that's okay. Uh, we will find out how to get that necessary prestige in the next episode. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.